love the flavor of fresh basil, then you're going to love this recipe today. Stay tuned. Hi, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel. Have I got a treat for you today. So I have a delicious recipe that we're going to be making from my good friend and fellow health coach, Keisha. She is the queen of squash recipes. She's always telling me about them. So I'm super excited to give one a try today. Today we're going to be making Keisha's favorite spaghetti squash with pesto. Let's begin by preparing your spaghetti squash. Using a sharp knife, slice off the ends of your squash and then slice your squash lengthwise. This can really take some muscle, so please be careful. Scrape out the seeds with a spoon, and then brush on either avocado or olive oil. Sprinkle with about one quarter teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. You could also add in a little bit of garlic powder for a little bit more flavor. Turn your squash over onto a baking sheet and bake in a 400 degree preheated oven for about 40 minutes for a large squash and about 25 minutes for a smaller squash. While your squash is baking in the oven, let's make the basil pesto. So to your food processor, we're going to add two cups of packed fresh basil leaves. Basil is a powerful herb in that it may help reduce inflammation in the body, help support a healthy immune system, and even reduce stress in the body, which I think we could all use. Next, we're going to add one half of a cup of grass-fed organic Parmesan cheese. I really like the Natural Grocers brand. Next, we have one half of a cup of heart-healthy olive oil. So I'm only going to drizzle in just a little bit, one to two tablespoons maybe, and then we'll add in the rest in a little bit. Pulse until your ingredients are combined. Scrape down the sides of your processor, and then we're going to add one third of a cup of either pine nuts or walnuts. Either nut will work really great in this recipe. We'll add some wonderful protein and healthy fats. Next, we're going to add three to four cloves of minced up garlic. So garlic is a wonderful anti-inflammatory, may help with seasonal allergies. It also may help reduce the chance of getting blood clots in the body, which I found really interesting as I was reading that today. One quarter teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt and one eighth a teaspoon of cayenne pepper or to taste. This next ingredient is optional. I'm going to add in one scoop of our clean sourced collagen powder that's excellent for your digestion, also for your joints, skin, hair, nails, and teeth. Pulse together your ingredients and then letting your processor run, slowly pour in the remaining olive oil. Give your pesto a taste and adjust your seasonings if needed. You could also add in one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, yum. Scrape out your squash using a fork to create your squash noodles. And then place your noodles into a bowl and add in the desired amount of pesto. You could also add in some more veggies here if you'd like. Stir it up all together. And then for fun, serve your squash noodles back in the squash shells. For more flavor, you could even garnish with a sprinkle of nutritional yeast. Okay, we are ready to give this spaghetti squash with pesto a try. I can't wait. I did sprinkle with that nutritional yeast. That is optional. That, my friends, is delicious. I love it. Mm, I love the flavor of the basil and the garlic coming together and that beautiful homemade pesto that we made. The spaghetti squash is nice and crunchy so it doesn't get mushy. It has a wonderful texture, really holds up with the pesto really nicely. And you know what I would do? I would definitely load this up with some vegetables. You have leftover vegetables in the refrigerator from the night before. I would throw that in here and just mix it all up together delicious and nutritious. I hope you give this one a try. 
Thanks so much for being with me here today. Hey, be sure to join me next week in the kitchen, and in the meantime, take amazing care of yourself, make healthy choices, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.